4.5 billion years, the Milky Way galaxy and the nearby Andromeda galaxy will collide. Eventually, the local group's two biggest galaxies will unite to form a larger galaxy known as Milkomeda or Milkdromeda. The Milky Way will not be colliding with another galaxy for the first time. Our galaxy is a monster that has previously collided with and obliterated a number of other galaxies. But how do we know that there was violence in the past? The galaxies that formerly brushed against our galaxy are no longer there. Most importantly, how did those collisions impact the Milky Way's evolution and shape? About a century ago, it was established that the Milky Way is not the only galaxy in the universe, and this led to the beginning of extragalactic astronomy. There was a need to systematically classify galaxies as more and more were found by astronomers. Edwin Hubble made the initial attempt, grouping the galaxies according to how they appeared. Hubble's classification process was rather simple. The types of galaxies he classified were spiral, elliptical, lenticular, and irregular. For many years, this classification method worked out very effectively. Then, as more sophisticated telescopes were developed over time, astronomers found a huge number of galaxies. Interestingly, several of them didn't correspond to Hubble's system of categorization. Professor Halton Arp and other astronomers even compiled a list of unusual galaxies. A list of galaxies that seemed to be interacting or merging was included in the catalog. This list is significant because, for a long time, scientists thought galaxies were so spread out across the cosmos that they probably didn't interact or merge. However, they now had images of galaxies that weren't just close to one another, they were also merging. Additionally, there was mounting evidence for the creation of a brand new galaxy following the union of two smaller ones. Astronomers were now interested in learning if our galaxy had seen a similar occurrence. Years of study also revealed that the Milky Way has eaten numerous smaller galaxies over the course of its 12 billion year history, with the remnants of those galaxies still present in our home galaxy. Where, however, did astronomers discover these galactic fossils? The European Space Agency claims that when a distant galaxy collides with our own, powerful gravitational forces called tidal forces tear it apart. The stars from the merging galaxy will generate a massive stellar stream that is clearly visible in the halo if this process proceeds slowly. However, if the process proceeds quickly, the stars of the merging galaxy will be more dispersed throughout the halo and no distinct signature will be visible. But there might be more than just stars in the merging galaxy. It might also have a population of nearby satellite galaxies and globular star clusters. The team thus searched the Gaia data for them. They investigated 46 Milky Way satellites, 41 star streams, and 170 globular clusters. The distribution of these items' energy and momentum shows that 25% of them fall into six different groupings. Each group indicates a merger with the Milky Way that is happening. Surveys of stars had previously detected five. Sagittarius, Cetus, Gaia Sausage, Wukong, and Arjuna are some of their names. The sixth, though, was a newly discovered merging event that the researchers named Pontus, which is Latin for the sea. Pontus is the name of one of Gaia, the Greek goddess of the Earth's earliest offspring in Greek mythology. Pontus is thought to have entered the Milky Way between 8 and 10 billion years ago based on how the Milky Way has torn it apart. It is also plausible that four of the other five merger occurrences took occurred around this time. Sagittarius, the sixth occurrence, is more recent. Sometime in the last five to six billion years, it may have entered the Milky Way. The Milky Way has thus far been unable to entirely obstruct it. The Milky Way galaxy's Milky Way stream is made up of tidally stripped stars that follow an orbit that almost completely crosses the galactic poles. The Milky Way has been touched by all of these mergers in various ways. 
For instance, another team of astronomers using Gaia data discovered that some regions of our galaxy are significantly older than previously believed. This indicates that star formation in our galaxy took place in two stages, with the collision with the Sausage Galaxy serving as the trigger. The thin disk and the thick disk are the two main components of the Milky Way. The former contains the solar system and the majority of the Milky Way as we know it. It houses 95% of the stars in the whole disk and around 85% of the stars in the galactic plane. On the other hand, the thick disk is older, larger, and more sparse. Researchers discovered that the thick disk developed roughly 800 million years after the Big Bang, which is about 2 billion years sooner than previously believed. However, how was this discovery made by astronomers? Chemistry is the solution. The initial generation of stars had a low metallicity, or a low proportion of chemical elements other than hydrogen and helium, as was discussed in the previous Arundel video. The subgiant stars are a distinct class of stars in the Milky Way that the scientists analyzed. These stars were photographed during the brief transition from their usual stellar life to the red giant phase, where they greatly outgrow their original boundaries. Using information from Gaia and Lamost, the researchers calculated the ages of around 250,000 subgiant stars. The information revealed two major star-forming epochs in the history of the Milky Way. The dense disk is linked to the initial wave of star formation, which began barely 800 million years after the Big Bang, or roughly 13 billion years ago. When the Milky Way and the Sausage Galaxy, another galaxy, collided two billion years later, the process was accelerated. This collision contributed to the construction of the thick disk, and the gas it produced spurred star formation in that region of the galaxy. The collision between the Milky Way and the Sausage sparked four billion years of star creation. After six billion years since the Big Bang, the gas was depleted. The metallicity of the thick disk increased by more than a factor of 10 throughout that time. 50 billion solar masses of stars, gas, and dark matter were also contributed to our galaxy as a result of this collision, along with eight globular clusters. This is an artist's interpretation of Sausage Galaxy Detritus. Yellow arrows show the positions and velocities of stars coming from the dwarf galaxy, according to data from an artificial merger with the Milky Way that had characteristics comparable to the one that is thought to have actually happened. The Milky Way's final significant merger occurred when the Sausage and Milky Way collided. In roughly 2.5 billion years, our galaxy will slam into the nearby Large Magellanic, and in 5 billion years, it will join with Andromeda. Bursts of star formation activity would ensue from this, and a gigantic elliptical galaxy would eventually develop. The evolution of the local group will thereafter be effectively completed when the remaining galaxies of the group combine into this object over the ensuing 150 billion years. What astronomical event would you choose to travel into the future to see if you could? Humanity probably won't be there to see this crash. Would you pick the Andromeda Milky Way collision, the Betelgeuse supernova, or any other cosmic occurrence? Let's find out who has the most intriguing option and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.